All right, folks, we hit a thousand subscribers. Finally, took, I don't know how many years. I started this channel in 2008. Did a little something back then, stopped doing it. Came back in 2021, I think it was. And now I went from back then in 2021, like I think 10 subscribers and now we're over a thousand and YouTube has blessed me with allowing me to make a little bit of money on these videos and that's awesome because I need some money so I can buy a better computer to edit these videos so the videos are better. So as I alluded in the last video, I got this little vending machine right here. I have, n I looked it up online. There's like probably 10 different brand names for it. So I really don't know what it is, but it seems pretty complete. It's got all the stuff. The mechanism works. I've run a few dimes through it and I just made a little wooden stand for it. So I can put it on my counter and this is, this is just going to be for my kids. Give them a dime once in a while. Let them get, let them get some M&Ms and that'll be all right. So we're gonna go ahead and get started breaking this thing down because the paint is not so great. It's peeling up, bubbling up, and I wanna clean it up, give it a fresh new can of paint, coat paint, and also clean up the whole entire mechanism there and you know, basically make it hygienic. And we'll go from there and we're gonna get started on that right now.
now you just watched me take the whole vending machine apart, break it all down, clean it up, sand it, prime it twice, paint it twice. I put a coat of clear coat on it and now we're going to put it back together. So let's get started on that right now. All right, let's see if I can remember how to put all this back together. Everything's nicely painted, ready to go. I'm gonna start with the base and uh, some rubber feet to put on it. flying everywhere. Just some simple rubber feet. I already got my holes pre-started. Let's see how difficult this is going to be. This one's grumbling a little bit about getting started. I think it, yep, it got started now. So this video is actually going up because I finally hit a thousand subscribers, which means that my channel now is making an astounding, and I mean an astounding, 90 cents a day off of all the ads that are running on my videos. So that's cool. We'll just grow from here and see what happens. It's not necessarily the scratch subscribers, even though that does help a little bit. It's actually how many views you get. That's how you get paid. So just gonna play the game and See if I can get up to like five bucks a day. That'd be pretty cool. Okay, so there's our stand. That's the front. This is the back where that little nick is. Pretty stable. I think. I think this is the next part. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the next part. We'll get this base on here, and then I have to assemble a bunch of this stuff separately, then put it on top. Spot here. And I do have these holes pre marked in the block of wood. They're I'm not tightening them up yet. I'll wait till they're all three of them are started. Then I'll center everything, make sure things are looking good. Alright, let's see where we're at. Get it looking. I like it right there.
So that's the pretty much the base of it. We're gonna set this off to the side. I gotta build the part that goes on top of here. That starts with this that goes here. I'm gonna go ahead and slide this little deal in here real quick so I don't forget it. A little bit of paint came off of there, but that's, that's all right. Okay, set that off to the side. Now we've got to do the difficult part. So, I had this marked. Actually, it looks like it doesn't really matter what side goes where. We're going to go with that right there. So, these little, uh, here that hold the glass up. I got them marked looking in from the front. So this would be right front, left front, left back, and right back right. So let's see if we can figure this out. So, I'm going to wipe this off with a little bit of alcohol later, but right now I just need to try to remember where they originally went. This is going to be tricky. I think once I get the first one started, it'll be all right. So we're here. That means this one goes there. We gotta get the screw out. Got a little bit of paint touch up there I gotta do later. Or not, I don't know. We'll see. That's actually not looking too bad. That's actually pretty stinking good. Let's try this one over here. Now things can kind of, kind of stand up on their own a little bit. So, there we go. You got a piece of glass that go in. This is the frame that goes on the top. Set that aside for a second. 
Now we gotta start setting up down here. Here's the rod. Can y'all see that? I think so. Barely. Let me move that camera a little bit. All right, so this rod basically ties everything together. You got the lock on the top. I'm gonna come around to the camera, I'll show you exactly how this works. You got right here on the top, you see those little slots there? There's four of them, right? And when you take the key out of this little lock mechanism here, you can see some, the, the uh, I don't know what they're called, they stick out on either side and they fit into those slots. So you can't turn this at all when it's locked. So the key goes in and now you can unscrew it, right? Okay, so what we gotta do is I gotta get this thing in here in such a way, hopefully, that it's at the right height to where once this lid is on, this will screw in far enough to engage on here and lock this lid down nice and tight and uh, have room to spare without this being like too tall, right? So I gotta do some guesstimation here. I got some Loctite so I can do some, so I can lock it down down there. Okay, so that. That. Let's take these screws out here so I can see where I'm at. This one needs a little bit of help. So if you're wondering why I'm making this, it's so I can spoil my kids. And uh, later on, I can spoil my grandkids even worse. So I'm gonna make sure I got lots of dimes in my pocket and any kids that come around, they get a free dime. They get all the M&Ms they want. I'll sugar them up and send them home. All right, so this goes, oh, there's little pins there that gotta go in. Let's see if we can get it set down where it's supposed to be. Okay, and then this actually goes down on top. Now here's a trick. Can I engage that screw enough to actually lock it together? Nope. So that means I need to screw this up a little bit. Okay, that works right there. So I gotta make a mark and I gotta lock tight the bottom threads that are in the base so that this rod won't move anymore. All right, take the lid off, take this off. Carefully take this off. So I'm using the blue, the blue thread locker. Why? Just in case I have to take it apart again. Yes, I know thread, the, the red thread locker, you can still break it loose, but man, it's a, it's a bear. I'll just use this stuff. And for all you food fanatics out there, this is going into a place where just the coins go. There's no food down there. So that little bit of chemical adhesion from this Loctite is not going to affect the hygienic 
quality of the M&Ms I'm serving out. Now, before that sets up, let's double check. Make sure I can still, make sure I can still grab some threads. in. Make sure I can grab some threads. Yes, I'm easily grabbing threads. Okay. All right. Now, take those away. Now we get to start putting together some of the actual mechanisms. This part's got to come off first. Here's the coin mechanism. Pretty simple. Got a little gear back here that engages with this gear here and it turns and dispenses the product. Got to put a little door on. That goes on there. This whole coin mechanism, which works perfectly, by the way. I got lucky getting a used one. It, it's There's nothing wrong with it. We're going to slide that carefully in. I said carefully. Let's see. Okay. Seems to be in the right spot. All right, now we got the coin mechanism in there. Next thing we gotta do is put this part on right here. Get it set snugly into place. Okay, now we have the mechanism that dishes out the candies. There's three different slots you can do on here. I got it set right now on the largest one. If you rotate it like that, you go to the next smallest one, and you rotate it again, and you go to the uh, smallest setting. Now I'm doing peanut M&Ms. I have to go with the largest one because they're so big. So that's where it's gonna be. So what you do is you set this in, you set it to where one of the little, one of these three slots is right above the dispenser. That way when you rotate this, the next one clocks into place and dumps out the, out the candy. All right, so that's in place. Here's the uh, part that goes on top of it. It's got these little spring things here to help uh, prevent uh, loose candy from getting down in here or overfilling uh, the little dispenser slots, I guess they're called. So that goes right here. And we'll get that screwed down real quick. Hey, that Loctite finally set up. That's good. That's a good thing. All right, so now the glass. I'll do a quick, quick wipe down on the inside part of it. This would be from the front. This is the right side. This slides in just like so. Left side. here okay we're almost to the point where I can spoil my kids rotten because this is going right here on the counter and every time my kids or their friends come and ask me for a dime 
Yep, I'm giving them one. I'm gonna sugar them up and send them home. I'll be right back. This seems to have a little bit of uh, stuff on it. I wanna clean that off. All right, I got that glass cleaned up a little bit there. The outside of the glass, I'll clean up once I uh, get this thing all put together. I'll wipe everything down. I can get my marks off of there that I put on there so I don't forget where things go. Okay, this is the front. Because it's got an F on it, right? Okay, all right. Here's the back. This is the one that's got the little bit of a broken plastic. Wipe off the inside a little bit. Slide that in just like so. And then take this piece of rubber, plastic, whatever it is. And I think it goes this way. Okay. I think that's about right. Here's the top ring that has like a Lifting handle, I guess. Um, not sure exactly why you'd use that, but it's there. Okay. Now for some screws. Do this side and then the other side. I'm just gonna just barely snug these for right now. And once I get all four in, I'll give them a, an extra turn. Um, I need something to get that out. I gotta lift this handle up somehow so I get the other screws in. screw we're almost to the point where we can fill this thing up with candy and give her a test now we're gonna get it nice and tight let's flip this handle around tighten these last two up quick test here to make sure my lock will still screw in. Yep, sure does. All right, let's get this thing full of candy and see where we go. Lots of good M&Ms. They're a healthy kind. They're well balanced. The inside is healthy. The outside, not so much, but it's balanced, so it's good for a balanced diet. We got about plenty of it. I know this thing's gonna work, so we're gonna top it off all the way up. Can't have any broken ones in there. Yep. That's for the guy building it. Alright, she is full. Make sure I have room here to get my lock in there. There we go. And there we 
go. I'm gonna put that key back in there for right now so I don't lose it. Let's give it a test. Got some dimes here. Can you all see? Uh, we'll put it right there so you can see. Let's put a dime in here. There you go. You get some M&Ms for one dime. I think we're in business, folks. Yeah, I like it. This is perfect. Get the tools out of the way. Let's move my pecans out of the way. Let's move my fermenting garlic and honey and my fermented garlic and the fruit basket that's got red onions in it. Let's get that over here. We're gonna give this thing a new home right over here. Next to the kitchen aid. I think it looks pretty good. Find our stuff over here. Perfect addition for a kitchen. If you got kids and you want to spoil them completely rotten, this is the way to go. Now I gotta go back and I gotta get some a little bit of alcohol and get my Sharpie marks off of there so I didn't forget where I was putting stuff and then hide the key so nobody can steal M&Ms even though I'm going to be giving them the dimes to buy the M&Ms. It's all good. Anyway, uh, uh, this is a video that uh, was a long time in the coming and I was kind of waiting until I hit a thousand subscribers and it got monetized. So now I'm probably making about 89 cents a day off of the advertisements on my channel it's only up from here that's really all it is it's just up from here and hopefully I can get to the point where I'm making like a hundred bucks a day and it'll work out thanks for watching thanks for subscribing really appreciate it I'll see you on the next video